hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of b in this beautiful exponential math problem which is b square is equal to 33 square plus 66 square plus 99 square so here we can solve this problem using different approaches the first approach is to find out the value of each number here and then sum of these values and last take square root on both sides this is one approach the second approach is to use different exponential identities here in the right hand side and find out the value of b. So here we will try to use the second approach and we will try to factorize these numbers. So therefore we can write this right hand side as b square is equal to here we can write 33 as 3 times 11 which is 33 whole square plus we can write 66 as 6 times 11 which is 66 whole square plus we can write 99 as 9 times 11 which is 99 whole square now here in these three terms we will use exponential identity a times b whole to power n so here we will use this one exponential identity a times b whole to power n which can also be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here, this right hand side will become b square is equal to, this will become 3 square times 11 square plus this will become 6 square times 11 square plus this will become 9 square times 11 square look into the right hand side here in the right hand side 11 square is common in all the three terms so we will take out common from the right hand side so this will become b square is equal to let us take out 11 square common so here 3 square is left plus here 6 square is left plus here 9 square is left now let's simplify this right hand side so this will become b square is equal to 11 square times here 3 square is simply 9 6 square is 36 and 9 square is 81 now well, let us sum up these three numbers so this will become b square is equal to 11 square times now 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 9 is 16 so this will become 6 when we carry to this number this digit 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, so this will become 12. So here the sum of these three numbers gives him 126. Now here we will take square root on both sides to eliminate this square from B. So let us take square root on both sides. So here on the left hand side this square and this square will be cancelled, so this will become only B. And here on the right hand side we will use a square root result. So here on the right hand side we will use this one result. We can write square root of two numbers a times b is square root of the first number times square root of the second number. So using this square root result here we can write this number as this will become square root of 11 square times square root of 126. So here in this number this square and this square root will be cancelled. So this will become b is equal to 11 times now here we will factorize this one number 126 so therefore we can write 126 as this is an even number which is divisible by 2 so here 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 3 is 6 now this is not divisible by 2 so this is divisible by 3 so let's try 3 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 1 is 3 now this is again divisible by 3 so 3 times 7 is 21 now this is divisible by 7, 7 times 1 is 7. So here the from factorization of 126 is 126 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Now we can write this number in index form as here 3 is 2 times so this will become 3 square times 2 times 7. Now this can be further written as 3 square times 2 times 7 is 14. Now here we will replace this 126 with this product. So this will become square root of this is 3 square times 14. 
Now here we will use this one result and we will split this square over 3 square and 14. So this will become p is equal to 11 times this will become square root of 3 square times square root of 14. Now here this square and this square root will be cancelled so this will become 3. So b is equal to 11 times 3 times square root of 14. No. 11 times 3 is simply 33. So, B is equal to 33 times square root of 14. So, finally, B is equal to 33 times square root of 14 is our answer and value of B. In this interesting exponential math problem, now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math videos thanks for watching